All right, welcome back to the channel. We're gonna be working in the garage for a couple of uh, videos and we're gonna be working on the Land Cruiser again. So this time, gonna be body work. Um, if you recall, way back over the summer, I started cleaning all this stuff up, sanded down the inside, cut out this rusty hole, and then, you know, I'm looking at the back doors, and we might just start working our way back to front, because why not? Um, <laughs> it's cold out, don't have a lot of free time right now, but the weather's bad, so we're in the garage. I've said that a couple times. So today, we're going to um, start trying to make these back doors fit nicely. So um, the latch is kind of bent. Can't really get it all the way in. The tire is in the way, but this door does not move very well. That latch has seen better days. Um, we're probably gonna cut this uh, stuff off and try to remake a new bracket that can fit in that hole. Maybe use the same thing, maybe get some new hardware, like a, a gate latch. And then on this side, similar thing. Uh, I'm not sure what's going on here, but uh, we probably only need one. I don't know, we're just gonna clean this up. I'm, I'm sick of looking at rusty metal. Start with the doors and then start working our way up to the front. Um, that's been nicked by something. If you look underneath, it definitely needs to be cleaned up. Not that you can really see it. The actual frame and underside actually is pretty good. I've got some rust reformer that I can spray down there when I get a chance and then we'll take care of all of this stuff, start sanding it. Doors will probably be last. I might replace the doors with uh, just some tube steel stuff because I'm not, I mean, uh, I love the hard top. This hard top has seen better days and it might not be worth saving. So we might do soft top only because it's gonna be a summer truck. I don't know, let me know what you think in the comments. A lot of indecisiveness at the moment. You know, just trying to think of how can I get this thing on the road as fast as possible and start making content for my YouTube family. So, let's start with the doors. We'll get set up and right on into it. All right, let's see if we can get this off using oh, this stuff. Uh, off to a great start. One second. Uh, that broke off. Great. Alright, we got one. Alright, looking in the back here. Both nuts are spinning. All right. All right, quick update. Broken, got this one out. The two nuts on the back side of this are spinning. Broke that one and that one, the head's right off. And then these two were stripped. So I'm off to a really good start with all of this. Let's see what we can do to get this door off. At least get the top bracket off, that'd be nice. Okay, looking at this lower bracket, I just felt behind the fender. These do not have nuts holding them in, so we might have to get the grinder and grind those off, because that's the only thing holding this door on. I don't want to mess with these just yet. These things have seen better days. 
that's some old rubber. So we're probably gonna have to put on something new here. Clean it all up, obviously. There's a lot of cleanup that we have to do, but at least the door is off, so that's a win. A lot of paint build up here. That's a lot of Bondo, so um, yeah. Got to process how to take care of that. So let's take care of the doors, and then we'll come back to this piece. Um, might end up cutting this out, putting a new piece of steel just to clean it up. Yeah, there's a lot to do. All right. All right, let's see if we can get these brackets off. They're probably gonna be stripped. Ah, oh, man. Not great, not terrible. At least it came out, but definitely broke halfway down the bolt, so. That's fun. That one came out. Thank you. And that one broke too. Fantastic. Everything. Everything. Put up a fence. Ugh. Two of these came out, that's good. I have to weld in a new nut though. That one's stripped, so we're gonna bust out the grinder again. Front face, decent. <clears throat> a couple little bents. And these studs need to come out somehow. Not sure how I'm gonna do that, but we'll address it in a second. Um, backside, I think what I'm gonna do is probably cut straight line so I don't take out this little ridge right here. And then I'm gonna try and rebuild this. I took a picture of it, and I don't really know what's underneath it, but there's a lot of crap. So it definitely needs to come out. Let's work on that. Put these brackets off to the side, because I definitely wanna reuse them. But they've definitely seen better days. I might have to get some inspiration from the internet. Maybe I'll remake them completely into something pretty cool. All right, let's uh, cut this piece off and have a blast. some new steel, but there's a lot of rust, so might be challenging.
Okay, that was a lot of work, so, um, yeah, I'm covered in dust. I'm gonna have to take a shower before dinner. But uh, here is the exterior of the door. I still need to do this side. Um, I think for door number two, wherever it is right there, I'm probably going to use some sort of chemical paint remover because this is a lot of work and it's messy and it takes so much time. But um, I cut this hole out because pretty much the entire back panel from here to there was Bondo. So that's what all this is. Look at that. Yeah, a lot of Bondo. It's all over the Africa Twin now. The dust, not great. And there's a lot of uh, junk here. So I'm going to have to bust out the welder and the wire brush and the rust reformer and tack all these little holes back, all these pinholes. Um, yeah, uh, I might end up just cutting this whole thing out and doing something completely new, but not fun learning about the rust on these old things and uh, yeah, whatever. Alright, let's, uh, you know, let's cut this piece out right here and then we'll start working on the back and getting all the paint off. mostly clean door that I need to now fix up <clears throat> so yeah that's the game plan now I don't know how I'm gonna make this work but I'm gonna try so I've got some 22 gauge steel same thickness as this stuff I'm gonna see about hammering some of the bends out and then I'm gonna try and box in that little area um, so that's next all right, I'm gonna try and cover up some of these slash marks that I made. And then once that's done, I'll put some rust reformer on it. Okay, I think I'm gonna have to give up on this door. Um, the metal has rusted so much that it's just falling apart in my hand, and I don't think I can fix it. So, unfortunately, I think I'm gonna have to scrap these doors. Yeah, just spent all that time taking the paint off, but uh, it's really not. It's turning into something that's not worth it. So doing a couple little searches on Google, um, a lot of people do make their own custom rear half doors, and I think I might just go that route, either aluminum or steel. Um, something a little bit smoother in general. And by smoother, it's not really a good way to describe it, but I'm looking on Aqualoo. I've got this view of some doors. They're pretty simple, right? Like, no texture like this dish thing. This looks like a lunch tray. Um, but something simple and smooth and some stainless steel hardware might make sense. So I'm going to do some ordering on Wix, get some sheets of steel, um, then reinforce the back with the welder, and then uh, we'll turn this into a door. So I'll try and reuse is that thing this latch or make a new version of this latch and then I will also try to incorporate this side of it but um, yeah and then a new license plate holder 
Unfortunately, you know, the title of this video will be how to waste your time or something like that, um, or when to give up on rusty material. So I hope you learned something. I hope this is informative. I tried, but I think we're going to have to take a different approach. So yeah, sorry. Like, subscribe. We'll see you on the next one. Peace.